So from Columbine to Aurora to Boulder, Colorado is no stranger to the horrors of mass shootings. Because of that, the state has now taken steps to hopefully prevent these tragedies. And tonight, Denver 7 CB Cotton takes a closer look at what's being done to keep us safe. It's happened again. This time in Uvalde, Texas, where innocent children were killed at their elementary school. Oftentimes when there's one shooting, then it does incite others who were considering it to go ahead and attack. Mass shootings happen so often, there are now people like Dr. Rachel Nielsen who study targeted violence and try to stop it before it starts. I think everyone needs some level of awareness around the pathway to violence. How do you know when someone is go moving towards potentially hurting others? Thanks to federal grant money, she and other experts have been teaching first responders, teachers and mental health providers in the state about the warning signs that someone is on the cusp of harming their community. Awareness among everyone, competency among professionals about how to deal with these issues when you see warning signs, when you do need to involve someone um, beyond yourself, um, then basically you build uh, a system that is sustainable. So far, Nielsen and her team at Nicoletti Flater Associates in Lakewood have seen good results. Attorney General Phil Weiser sees it that way too. Because of what we've gone through in Colorado, not with just one school shooting in Columbine, but other ones recently, the STEM school, We've had to adapt. We've had to create a culture around school safety. We've had to create early warning systems. Because of those systems, we are safer in Colorado. Attorney General Weiser urges people to use Safe to Tell, a state program for students, parents, and community members to report threats or concerns anonymously. Colorado also has a red flag law. Passed in 2019, it allows people to ask the court to temporarily take away a person's firearms if there is a significant risk that the person could hurt themselves or others. From 2020 through October of last year, nearly 200 requests were granted. And just today, Attorney General Phil Weiser was at Golden High School speaking with students and staff about a program the school has launched that encourages students to seek out mental health resources. Weiser says his office will continue to encourage this kind of programming and hopes it can prevent violence before it starts. In the newsroom, I'm CB Cotton, Denver.